Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose, and for a little bit of an exciting one for me, uh, but I thought we should share the journey. Coming off the back of the Valentine's event video, I guess it's really just self-explanatory, but for those that are still sort of playing the game, wondering a little bit about the event, so in the event, you actually acquire uh, these items like this these confession chocolates so for those that didn't really pay much attention the option to create these chocolates i.e these little packages basically you get them from doing your jewels now you can buy up to five times to collect your ingredients you have to cost you know, 50 gems etc etc um, but once you do that you get all the ingredients and then you can create those chocolates now with those chocolates make sure that you use them before the event is over because they actually give you roses and like i said this this event is essentially as free to play as it gets um some of the rewards are, well you know, the rewards are rewards right so can't really complain about it it's, it's certainly not a whale event so i think a lot of people like that um but basically you you don't want to miss out on collecting your roses so don't do what pb does and wait until the last minute and forget about it Make sure you go ahead and grab that so that you can continue to unlock the next stage. Now, I think I've spent 200 almost. I think I've spent close to 200. It, it'll be very close. Um, maybe we hit a jackpot. Is that the 200th? Nope. I'm guessing we need to spend one more. And then... There we go. See, I swear we unlocked them. There you go. Zero prayers. Oh, so you get like the first one free. Oh my gosh. 5, 10, 15. I like this. I like this. So we did manage to unlock the second tier one. And I assume by the end of the event, we'll unlock all of them. But as you can see, we did manage to get ourselves a little bit of a jackpot. Let's pull it out. What do you reckon we got? Whoa, of course it was Buggy the Clown. But mainly, what I wanted to do this video is finish off my team. I wanted to um, try to get 5 million power. I sort of go from there. Obviously, there's a little feature that unlocks once you uh, hit a certain milestone, and hopefully we can explore that feature together. But what we need to do is create some food, and this is where we kind of ran into a little bit of a pickle. What I think we can do first up, though, is just make sure we get this guy out of the way. So throw all of our food into here. Just need to get him to nine star, and then we should be good to go. Six star there, and of course we are, you know, attempting to complete the event, etc., etc. Anyway, so regardless, we just did that. So got him to nine star. That was the main point. Um, not a lot of people really watch. Uh, I, I get, not many people get the opportunity to see the swaps. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to swap Chopper out because basically I don't have enough food for him, and I want to swap it out to Frankie. Now, it still costs four of these lovely little items, powers of time, and you can only buy three each week, so I'm going to grab three more because I'm using four. I like to keep around five anyway because that's how much it costs to swap a 10-star out. Um, eventually, I'll be swapping out one of my... Well, it depends if I use the old Sumo, if I swap him out for Granny. Who knows? Maybe Garp. Um, but I always like to keep a couple of these things around for events like this because at the same time... You never really want to get stuck and be like, oh crap, I can't build that hero because it's kind of a semi-elite or very, very hard to get. But what we can do is we can go over to our little uh, quest shop over here and we are going to get the Frankie copy out because we've been spinning like crazy. And basically, we're going to go ahead and build a 10-star Frankie. So long story short, not a lot of people get to witness that. So there you go. For those that are wondering, that's what the swap looks like. Um, I did have a question from the Discord relating to uh, an interesting question, actually. Uh, someone said, what if you uh, enhance or resonate one of your heroes and then you swap that hero or try to swap that hero out? I did attempt to do that. And for those that are curious as to what I'm talking about, if I show you, that they were saying if you use a resonance relic and you upgrade your hero in the amplification tree, which is the empowerment, uh, here you basically can empower any hero to the maximum of your team. So this guy would become a 12 star. 
uh, and then try to swap the 12 star out for another hero, is that uh, possible? And the answer to that is no. You can't actually swap that resonance hero out. There's no option to select them, unfortunately. You can only swap the base form of the mount. So if it's a 10 star and you up it to a 12 star, you can only swap the 12, uh, the 10 star out. It still costs you five copies. Uh, yes, I know, right? Well, there's always those things where everybody's trying to do the little exploits. Um, trust me when I say, unfortunately, it does not work. It does not work for me, at least. Uh, anyway. Getting sidetracked here, what we needed to do was we needed to build Frankie up. So I need to build a second uh, six star. Let me have a look who I can build. I don't really know if I want to use you as food just yet. Do I have anyone else? So wiping these, that dude. How many of these guys do I have? I'm sure I have shards in the bag of those. Yeah, I got plenty. 14. That should be enough. I'll build another six star wiper. And then we should be good to go. All right, Wiper, where are you at? There we go. And, of course, we'll throw Wiper in Wiper. Wiper on Wiper action. Wiper. Okay, let's just go over here. Let's go and make ourselves a 10-star Frankie. I think it might be the first time I've actually made a Frankie 10-star on this account, which is kind of cool. Not going to lie. I know I, uh, I know I made the error of making Usopp one day. <laughs> uh, boy was that an hour also he also has uh, an unlock uh, a feature too as well as crocodile which is kind of cool all right so that out of the way the next thing we need to do is make ourselves a six star um we need to make ourselves a six star so we're going to use some food grab ourselves a six star and then i think we're pretty much good to go yes we are other oh, barry yes we are all right, let's go 10 star in there. Frankie gets the chop. 15 Ascension Stones, 20k Ascension tickets or cards, whatever you want to call them. Are you all holding on to your seats? I think we'll probably get to like 4.85, maybe 4.9. Ooh, look at that go. Yeah, Awakening Slot, 4.89. I think I called it. I really did. Just 100k worth of power right there. And of course, the real power comes from if you are, I guess, leveling that up, which you're going to see in a second. Uh, active buff skill has a 20% chance to increase buff duration by one. Absolutely, freaking lootly one round because if you don't know, Marco does lots of attack buffs and I think that that is the best idea. Not really a healer. To be honest, he's more for the for the buffages. So we're definitely going to go with basic muse there. And then after that, we're just going to see... Well, we're going to see if we can get him to 340 because that's a lot of gold. It costs a lot of gold to get him there. Oh, no, I think we, we should be good. We should be good. I was more worried about the gold. 4968377. Look at that number. Awesome source. Okay. So that means a couple of things. We're going to, obviously, we're going to get to 5 million today. Look, listen, it's it's a guaranteed. I just need to grab all the other stuff out. I mean, randomly, is it even worth doing the 10 bomb for him? Nah, it's not. Let's just save them for a hero that we want to build. Um, we are going to essentially make this one, but oh, I don't know if we can now. I did want to do it. Uh, where are you? Where is my shards? My shardy shards. All right, yes, beautiful. Grab some food copies. I am kind of preparing myself to build Katakura um, up next. Odin is going to be used as food for, of course, Wayno Zoro. And then um, I will probably build Granny next for the Marines. I'll start working on a Marine team. I have the Granny copies, so that's fine. I could technically build another Fuji, but... I don't think that that's necessary. <laughs> it's going to be Granny Sengoku. I am going to max this guy out, send it tomorrow. I, I do believe his pierce works quite nice. I was thinking of using uh, the Magellan, but I don't know how viable poison is, to be honest, because of the amount of cleansers some people can throw out. But that was my thought. Definitely going to be Sengoku. Uh, it's going to be Granny. It's going to be Fuji. Garp might be the tank for the marine team, uh, unless I get some chanting copies, because that could be frustrating. 
Chenton seems pretty good, honestly. His control seems decent. But again, you, you kind of need to run like a full team to support them. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's go back into it. So what were we doing? We were going over here. We we're going to upgrade this. And for those that are curious, the, the increase is it's pretty significant. You get plus 5% and plus 5% attack and HP. Plus you get plus 5 speed. So a little bit of an upgrade there. Uh, I think that's the current one I'm on. So I get... Again, plus five speed, plus five percent, etc., etc. So they are a little bit expensive. Mm, honestly, if you don't have the food to do it, probably don't waste this, particularly if you're free to play. But I would have to say, oh, there we go, a little bit of a power up, a little bit extra speed for my emperor team. Um, and of course, for those that are curious, Katakura will be replacing Fuji on the team. Uh, or Odin, actually. No, I can't use Odin. I can't use Odin. The problem with Odin is I need his food to build uh, Zoro. So it's going to have to be Katakura that replaces Fuji for the Emperor team, and then the Marine team gets Fuji, of course, back again. All those thinking about the long game strategy. Anyway, we were very, very close. Now, what do we need to do? We wanted to increase... Oh, we ascend it. Ascend and level up to unlock new limited heroes. I think we can ascend now in our tree. Yeah, we can. Whoop, whoop. So there you go. So this was what I was curious about. So the Ascended level, once you have everybody at 340, i.e. you need to have five members of your team at 13 star level 340, you have the option basically to increase your tree. And then it kind of works the same way. Um, you, you do have to invest a little bit. So let's see how much one level gets me. So one level is going to cost me 4,000 Ascension Stones, 31 million gold, the blooms, and 16 million experience for a measly amount of power. <laughs> I love it. Let's do one level. Oh my gosh, it keeps going up. So it's 4,500 for the next level. Okay, so th this is sort of the long-term investment. You you probably could make maybe one or two levels every couple of days just by doing your normal uh, daily tasks, but that's pretty extreme. I, I just don't want to go through my Ascension Stones. I know, right? It's, it's a bit weird me saying that, but I, I really don't because I want to be building other heroes. So I just wanted to show that as the example. Now, of course, with this uh, amplification, don't forget to amplify if you haven't already make sure you get your shadow fluid every day and then uh shadow extract but i don't think you should be doing your shadow extract the only reason being is once you kind of get that 340 level it's going to cost you a lot of your experience points um and that could sort of set you back that's a lot of gold though that that's an alarming amount of gold <laughs> all right anyway so that's pretty much it for that side of the scenario. The next thing I kind of wanted to do was maybe just look to see whether or not I can. Uh, so using standard purify, I wouldn't mind um, increasing this guy's speed a little bit more so that he can uh, out. I think I want him to out speed Fuji so he buffs before Fuji does. And that way Fuji and all the other heroes such as Big Mum actually get the buff. Uh, from his attack as well as all the other goodies that he does so i was thinking i should try to get a dexterity rune on him um my only issue is do i is that a random bag yes yeah, two random bags interesting that's the focus rune. that's a magic rune. how many decks do i have i don't think i have enough decks that means we're gonna have to potentially waste some re-rolls to get this uh, I don't think there's any other way for me to do it, is there? Don't think so. All right, level this up. We're going to have to go to the skill shop. Let's check out and see if we can find any dexterity ruins. And physical combo. I always buy the ones that <laughs> kind of stand out. Oh, muse ruin. Okay, I'll take that. Absolutely. I know I need to use those uh, stones a little bit more wisely, but... If it's going to throw itself at me, then I'm going to take that. Purify Ruin would have been nice, but I don't need that just yet. Just need some dexterity. Come on, come on, come on. Speed down. Nope. Uh, the other thing I could potentially run on him again is just the, the Ghost Ruin. Um, just trying to get him rezzed up as well. Muse Ruin again. 
Jeez, do I really want to do I want to roll the dice or not on this guy? Because extending his buff is is I mean I'm not going to have enough to upgrade him, but I don't want to throw away the muse run. You know, twenty five percent two inch extended by one percent. Mm, that's actually really good. I don't know if I really want to wait. I don't want to waste that one. Oh damn it! All the pl all the plans have gone to naught. Um, also, for those that are curious. Once you reach level uh, 14, I believe, you can upgrade your sword uh, using the Joy Stone. So make sure you're doing your little task, which we'll do in a second. Who do I want to upgrade next, though? That might get us over there. I was working on Kaido before. Yes, Daddy Kaido. Daddy Kaido was working on him to get him up next. Why is yours level 5? I don't remember doing that. I don't remember doing that. Maybe it means... Hmm? Now I'm confused. I'm pretty sure I never upgraded you, though. That's that's weird. <laughs> Maybe I did and I forgot. All right, let's have a look to see if there's any other ones that I could potentially do. Um, ah, jeez. Can I upgrade a book? Do I have enough? No, I don't think I have enough for a book. Ugh, I got one there, two in the bag. So, so close to the... 5 million. I, I'm not worried though. I'm pretty sure we could figure out how to get there. Um, what else can we do? Let's, uh, let's just jump over here and do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fighting. want to see if we can manage to muster this up. Quick deploy. Oh, get over here. No, nope, absolutely not. Do I need granny? I think I have to keep granny. Let's uh, let's see how strong these guys are because these guys are they're starting to get pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. Oof, Granny's gonna die. That's all right. I wonder if anyone uh built a poo. I wonder if anyone built a poo. All right, I'm pretty sure we can win this one. <laughs> said no one ever wow she actually did some work too all right i'm just gonna have to try and do the old skip challenge oh you're gonna do that to me aren't you game you're really gonna do that to me let's go throw fuji in there let's see if fuji can get us the win wow these ones are getting a little bit hard what about the redemption Ooh, look at that should i just go with the joystone though should probably just go with the joystick. Nah, I should go the Liberty, right? Screw it. We'll go the Liberty Stone. I think the only reason I, I'm going to do that is because eventually I just want to sort of level everyone up a little bit. Um, Whitebeard, sure. Let's do Whitebeard a little bit. Get him up there. 20. Get him a little bit stronger. Keep him at 5 each. I think like 5 is a, is a good starting point. Um, oh, Odin can get unlocked too. Interestingly enough, this guy still doesn't have his special. All right, so we're at 499327. Where does that leave us, though? What options do we have next? Hmm. If we can't do it that way, maybe if we throw someone in here? Nah, that's a little bit cheap. All right, let me think about this. How many of these things do I have? I've got a lot of those rubbishy things. I was thinking. I was thinking. Is there anything else that I can upgrade? Can I upgrade some equipment? I might be able to upgrade some equipment. Um... <laughs> I know. That's a little cheesy though. Is it really worth it? Nah. What do I run on this guy? I swear I ran a speed set on him, didn't I? Yeah, speed, speed, regular. Interesting. Well, does that mean we can't do it? Does that mean we're going to be stuck at 499372? No, absolutely not. We can't be stuck at that level. That's atrocious. We're going to have to just bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> and get us over the five mil. Uh, I regret nothing. I do, though. That's a lot of Ascension Stone. That's a lot of gold. 
But there you go. At least there's the option for those that are curious. Once, of course, you get to everyone to 13 star, you can continue to push up your level cap. Um, outside of that, though, is there any any competitions? Yeah, let's do some fires. Let's do some PvP. Okay, so I think they've they've changed, did they? Let's do some PvP. See how we go. I do. Um, oh, you know, we could. The other issue too is though, when you were like empower a hero, you can't use them for certain game modes, which I think is, it's pretty sucky to be honest. <laughs> for those that don't know, um, what's this thing? Where is it? Does it even tell us what you can use it for? Ancient mystical. Oh, actually I should borrow you. If, if it's available again, I should buy it. No, I already did. Um, although I just saw something. I saw something, ladies and gentlemen, I saw something. Yes, I know we're supposed to be watching the PvP fight, but it's, I'm pretty sure we're going to win that. Yeah, five Awakening Stones. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we are closer than we thought we were <laughs> to getting that one. Oh, and now the now the hunt continues. So what was I, what was I after? I was after the Dexterity Ruin and the Combo Ruin. And if I can get one more dexterity ruin. Can I get a dexterity ruin, please? All over the shop. Heroism. Should have probably just grabbed the heroism, to be honest. Ah, can't refresh anymore. <sighs> well, there you go. I tried. I tried my hardest. Anyway, let's see if I can. Oh, Pervy D Carp. That's a pretty cool name. Let's have a look to see. So there's a lot of fives. Told you there was a lot of fives. I told you there was a lot of fives. <laughs> All right, let's fight Mr. Crow. Mr. Mohawk. Let's see how Mohawk stacks up against this. The other thing I have to say, like completely 180 with you. I've actually started playing um, uh, LOP, LOP, League of Pantheons. And I will start doing some videos on that one. Uh, I've been playing it for about two weeks now. So two or three weeks, actually. I think three weeks now. So I've been... Um, there's a lot of similarities. I will, I will say that, right? So, wow, we just we nearly erased this Fuji. <laughs> there's a lot of similarities in the game between this one. Um, uh, you know, many players would say that it's this is a replica of it. There are like like I said, there's a, there's a lot of similarities. I wouldn't go as far as to say that like they're an exact duplicate because I I do think this game does a lot of things better. However, they do have a lot more um, updates and support in the other game, and it's never going to get pulled from the Google or iOS Play Store. As far as I know, it's never going to get pulled from it. So that alone is probably the biggest advantage that that came out over this one because it's very frustrating. Like, I don't even know if the, another version of this game exists anymore, to be honest with you, because the development team doesn't really talk about it and they don't upgrade their discords. It's very frustrating trying to play this. So if you're on Buggy's server and you see the LOP section, let me know in there if you'd like me to do some videos as well. I'm just, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it. Like, I can I can definitely see the potential. The only issue that I have is that it's it's still the same price. Like, it's still equally expensive. Um, we'll definitely go through some of the pros and cons about the game, do a bit of a review. It, it's exceptionally, I mean, like any, I guess now that I've played a lot of the other mobile games, it's very similar to a lot of other mobile games. I mean, if you're looking for anything like out of the box extraordinary, it's not that one. It's not this one for crying out loud. It's I guess you you enjoy it because you enjoy it. At least with these characters, they're iconic and you know them. Like if you play or follow One Piece games or watch the anime, read the manga, at least you can identify with these ones. Whereas the other one, you don't. They're just kind of random characters. Now I'm not saying there's maybe there's a there's an anime or a manga out there that that uses those characters. But to me, anyway, I, I, I just looked at, Hey man, this is a crazy tiger dude that kills everyone. That, he's, he's pretty sick. <laughs> like I'm a bit of a, I'm an absolute noob on that game, but 
yeah, I make it work. So I'm curious to see whether or not you'd be interested to, to watch some videos about it. Let me know in the section down below. I will eventually be going back to do some summons on the old Dynasty Origins Pioneer. I'm going to be doing an upgrade, updated review guide for those interested in joining that game. Um, there are some things to... I just, I guess to be educated upon would be the best way to put it because the game is very much in their late game mode at this stage. So it's not very user friendly. Um, and I, I do, I do feel like if you, you're going to say to a, like a new person that wants to invest money and time and energy in a game, like if you're jumping in and you're, you're giving, basically you're playing with epic heroes when everybody else has, um, you know, legendaries for argument's sake the game doesn't really help you catch up very quickly it just tries to milk you for your money so we're going to be talking a little bit about the op as well as lop oh my gosh the acronym is going to kill me this this fight has taken forever i don't know if we can i don't know if we can win this <sighs> i told a lie of course we can win this but this guy i'm telling you once you lose Fuji, you kind of lose some some main main damage dealing. I mean, I I get this guy wanted to build Mohawk because he probably thought he was cool. Um, he's strong. I mean, he's nearly killing my Kaido, but I mean Kaido's a tank, so the fact that he only really attacks slot one, I think that could be his downfall. <laughs> uh. We should win this. If if we can kill the Fuji, then it, it's all over. Not the Fuji, sorry, the Chopper. If we can get the Chopper, we should be able to kill. Yeah, I think this is it. Then, boom. And then, as long as he doesn't get resurrected. Don't stun me. Come on. Boom, and we got it. Oh my gosh, that was round 18. <sighs> Talk about a sustain team though. That was really crazy. That was that was a massive sustain team. <laughs> but if you're wondering about it, obviously there you go. So Mahawk is very viable in a team like that. Um, probably already lost my position, right? No. Nope. Uh, what are we? We are probably, what, rank 6? Should we try to be ambitious and go for rank 5 or rank 4? Uh oh, we're going to get absolutely decimated. We have a chance against Daddy. Let's go for the decimation. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see if we can actually pull it off. Why not, eh? Why not? And this will be the last, I guess the last, uh, last fight. Oh, that's cheesy. you don't need a tank if you got that guy, right? Damn it, Fuji. He's already going to wipe my team. And, of course, my big mama decided to kill me instead because she's wonderful like that. All right, this this is an absolute wipe. <laughs> I like that, though. They did do a split nation. That's kind of cool. Um I would say the, 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 the attack bonus though, just from running one legendary, the plus 15% attack, or sorry, HP and 11% attack. That's insane. I'm not going to lie. Um, that alone is just reason enough to run them. Even at 10 star, he's decent. Um, I wonder if, uh, what if we can do that? Another thing that I would like to point out though, if you do play this game, um, just be mindful that, you know, obviously this is, this is not, uh, I want to say this is not um, a legitimate game in the grand scheme of things. So if you are spending money on it, have a contingency plan. Make sure that you can charge back anything. Uh, yes, I would recommend to charge back if you do spend or you spent in the last couple of weeks. Just because I just don't see this game really progressing or coming back again, unfortunately. Which really sucks. I'll just continue to do content on it. Of course, you know, they're still going to release new heroes and still milk people for money. But... I don't know. At this stage, it's it's a little iffy. 
Let's just put it that way. That's why a lot of players are transitioning over to LOP. And that's probably where this channel's direction is going to go over to the LOP. League of Pantheons. Uh, for those that are curious. If you want to know where the link is, just let me know in the comment section. I'll post the link up there for you. If you want to join me on there in iOS or Android, I'll start a new server. Probably next week I'll start a new server. If everyone wants to join me on that one, let me know. I'll give you all enough time to create your dummy accounts and figure out the game as well. And then if you want to play it seriously and join our guild or legion, we can do it that way too. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.